good afternoon everyone in the last week we have started your subject that is metrology and quality control in last three lectures we already covered the part that is what is meant by metrology and what is meant by quality control what is inspection then the terms associated with the metrology and quality control like your precision accuracy reputability magnifications so all the basics have already covered so now for moving towards our next point that is standard of measurement in your syllabus you find this topic as line standard in standard and wellen standards okay so what is meant by standard and how they are utilized for the measurement purpose so today we will see it so here the standards of measurement a standard is an exact quantity that people agree to use for the comparison means whenever we are going to measure anything or whenever we are going to buy anything simply we compare that particular product with the standard like if you are going to the market and you want to buy a 1 kg of sugar then definitely some standards are used with the machine with the balance machine to measure your weight of the particular or mass of the particular product okay so these standards from where these standards come so there are basically three to four types of these standards so whatever what are the what are those types of standards that we will learn today and how they are helpful for us in the metrology and quality control okay so let's see types of standards so there are four standards mentioned here primary standard secondary standard tertiary standard and working standard so primary secondary and tertiary these are the standards we do not use exactly for the measurement purpose we use working standards for measurement so what happen with this primary secondary and tertiary standard so we will see it in the details so first of all primary standards so primary standards is what they are material standard preserved under most careful conditions means these primary standards are preserved why it is going to be preserved so let's see it these are not used for directly for measurement but are used once in 10 or 20 year for calibrating the secondary standards means those primary standards we just utilize for the inspection purpose of secondary standards so suppose primary standards are kept in the secure place where they are preserved under controlled atmospheric conditions why because if that primary standard get vanishes from the universe then how we can produce the new standards how we can compare how you can identify that is 1 kg of weight or 1 liter of liquid so that's why these primary standards are reserved and after every 10 to 20 years we are just using that standard for the calibrating purposes okay so these are for example international prototype meter and imperial standard yard so here there are two example mention what are the primary standard first is your international prototype meter and second one is your imperial standard yard so what is meant by international prototype meter so let's see it so this is the diagram of your international prototype meter see this is 20 this is 20 so this is a particular length bar having this x type cross section x type cross section so this bar the bar where to be made of an special alloy 90% platinum and 10% iridium so this standard international prototype meter is a standard generally it this is a primary standard so this is made up of 90% platinum and 10% iridium 
so which is significantly harder than the pure platinum and have a special x shape cross section so this 10% iridium is mixed with the 90% platinum because to improve the hardness of that particular object platinum is the most most precious or most prized metal on the earth okay it is very very costly so 90% part is covered with 90% element is your platinum and to improve the hardness of that particular object we mix 10% iridium okay and this is having x x step cross section a triska section named after french engineer henry triska so this is made by a french engineer henry triska so that's why it is known as triska section so triska section or international prototype meter is your primary standard to minimize the effect of torsional strain during length comparison okay so whenever we are measuring the length for the length measurement due to torsional strain effect the length should be shorter in some case so for that comparison purpose we are using this international prototype meter okay so here is the length one meter and this have the 0.2 and 0.2 meters here width and thickness okay so let what is the next international prototype weight so this is the second your primary standard that is international prototype weight so ipk is made up of platinum alloy known as pt10 lr so this is made up by pt10 lr which is 90% platinum and again 10% iridium by mass and is machined into right circular cylinder height is equal to diameter of 13.39 uh, 39.17 mm to minimize its surface area basically this is the dimension 39.17 mm height and diameter ratio is remain same to minimize the surface area having a cylindrical shape object so this is one of the international prototype weight this is also a primary standard use now what are the secondary standard as it name itself indicates secondary means the value of secondary standard quantity is less accurate than that of the primary standard because first the primary standard comes into the picture they are manufactured first then with the reference to primary standard or from the reference of primary standard we made the secondary standards okay and also we use the primary standard for the calibration of secondary standard means secondary standards are manufactured in right way or not that can be calibrated with the help of your primary standard okay it is obtained by comparing with the primary standard as i already told you these are close copies of primary standard with respect to design material and length means the true copy or exact copy of primary standard is your secondary standard okay but it is not original it is copy that's why it is known as secondary standard they are very close to primary standard but they are not exactly the primary standard okay there might be some difference in microns at nano level okay but they different in somewhat and they are not exactly identical okay so next is your tertiary standard maintained in national physics laboratory npl so these are the tertiary standard that can be maintained at the national physics laboratory npl the primary standards and secondary standard exist as the ultimate control for the results at rare intervals means primary standards and secondary standards are used for the comparison inspection purpose okay but this tertiary standards are exactly utilized to produce the new standards like working standards so they are made as close copies of secondary standard and are kept as a reference for the comparison with working standard so 
your primary and secondary star standards are maintained at international level and your tertiary standard are maintained at your national level in your national physics laboratory so in our india whatever the standards working standards we are used that standards are made by comparing with your tertiary standard okay so you can understand this thing primary and secondary star standards are preserved at international level and your tertiary standard are used to produce the working standards okay so now we see what are exactly mean by working standards so these are working standards these standards are similar in design to the primary secondary and tertiary standard they are very similar in design but they are not exactly the primary secondary and tertiary standards they are working standards are the copy of close copy of this word mention close copy of your tertiary standards okay but being less in cost and are made of low grade materials they are used for general application in metallurgy laboratories so whatever standards we are using in our laboratories in our industry that are the working standards so that standards are made by referencing with the tertiary standard which are low grade materials as compared with your primary secondary and tertiary standard but in primary secondary and tertiary standard we are using your platinum and iridium 90% is your platinum and 10% is your iridium okay so for working purpose we are not going to use that heavy costly material we just use low grade material but the accuracy is very similar with that okay and we have to just apply it in metallurgical laboratories for our measurement purposes okay so this is your exact topic mentioned in your syllabus what is by line standard in standard and weldon standard so one question should be framed in your examination on line standard weld standard and your weld standard so let us see what is meant by line standard standard in which the distance is measured between two straight and parallel line means whenever we are using line standard so we measure the distance between two straight and parallel line for example steel rule so line standard is your steel rule simple steel rule that is you are already using a steel rule used for the measurement of your length or straight line advantage quick and easy cheaper disadvantage is your parallax error can be generated and accuracy is less okay so these are the advantages and disadvantages of your line standard let us see in standards when the distance is measured between two flat and parallel surfaces in case of your line measurement we are using line standard in case of surface measurement two flat and parallel surface measurement we are using the in standard okay so example of in standards are your vernier caliper and your micrometer screw gauge so what is meant by vernier caliper and what is meant by micrometer screw gauge the part already covered in your diploma syllabus those for first year who, who comes from the first year to second year so for them it is a new topic what is vernier caliper and what is a micrometer so in further lectures i am coming to this point what is for in your linear measurement we will see what is a vernier caliper and what is meant by micrometer screw gauge and how they are used for the measurement purpose okay so those who understand this concept they revise this topic okay let us see advantages of this vernier caliper and micrometer or advantages of your in standards so first advantage is accuracy of 0.005 mm is measurable so we can measure with the accuracy of 0.005 mm up to 0.05 mm accuracy and minimum possibility of parallax error so your parallax error should be minimum okay and disadvantage is they are costly and difficult to use this this, this is not the exact disadvantage difficult to use because as an engineer we 
have a hand to hand experience with your vernier caliper so in your practicals we will see how we measure the vernier a uh, particular object with the help of vernier calipers okay so but they are costly they are costly as compared to the main standards okay next is your the measuring surfaces are to be protected that means whatever you are going to measure that surface should be protected from your environment because due to some environmental changes the size and shape of that particular should be changed so these are the in standards now see wavelength standards material standards are subjected to errors due to continuous use because of this wavelength standard use means we are using any 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 kind of material they can be vary in shape or errors can be produced but the wavelength is the criteria by which we can easily measure these are the standards that helpful for the measurement like example light sources like cadmium 114 krypton 86 etc in hot cathode discharge lab at 68 kelvin according to this minus 1 meter is equal to 16507623.73 to wavelength of krypton 86 okay so means the wavelength of this material is utilized for the exact measurement of the particular object so you have minus 1 so basically you have 1 meter is regarding with the wavelength of krypton 86 multiplied by this value okay so this is all about your line standard and standards here wavelength standards so this is your krypton 86 this is a wavelength experience this is not part of your syllabus what is wavelength experience this is the very very important slide for you because in your examination this is about the difference between line in and wavelength standards okay so here in first column serial numbers are given in your second column parameters like accuracy time of measurement effect of use errors process cost example and care are mentioned and your third fourth and fifth step fifth column they are mentioned line standard in front and reverse so in case of your accuracy line standard limited to plus minus 0.2 mm but in standard having good that is up to 0.001 mm and the wavelength standards are highest efficiency for accuracy okay time of measure So in your line standard, it is quick and simple because steel tool simply measures slightly more than that of the line standard. Line standard we just use for your calculator, but in case of wavelength standard, it comes time more time, so it is time consuming. Effect of use line standards are difficult to assume zero. So while using, it is very difficult to assume zero in case of line standard. In standard. Things are harder, so there may be some difficulties here. Depends on the wavelength, and your case of wavelength standard, it depends on the wavelength of that particular material. Error. So by measurement, what are the error occurs? In line standard, it is a parallax error. In in standard, ranking errors, environmental error, wear and tear. And in case of wavelength standard, there is a no error. Okay, that's why its accuracy is highest. Process easy, slightly difficult, and highly difficult. But cost low, medium, and high. So as per our requirement, we have to choose which type of standard we should use for the measurement. Okay, example: steel tool, vernier caliper, and monochromatic light source. Care: what care should be taken for the while measuring so engraved lines must be protected because if the lines are disappear you cannot measure the length with the help of your simply a rule then end standards measuring the end must be protected so here line should be protected and here end should be protected and wavelength standard not affected by any kind of any situation okay so this is all about your difference between line in and wavelength standard 
keep this in your mind because in your exam this difference between line standard and standard and wavelet standard is ask okay is need to be asked okay so let us see what are next sleep cages so basically these are the sleep cages this is 20 ml sleep cage this is 25 ml sleep cage meet me to tio meet meet to tio this is a japanese company meet to tio this meet to tio company is manufactured this sleep cages having a highest accuracy okay so this sleep cages having use while work in your angular measurement we will see how this sleep cages are useful for measurement here we just see what is sleep cage sleep cages are the rectangular block of steel having a cross section above 30 by 10 mm so 30 by 10 mm cross sections cages generally these are used for the measurement and this is a particular set of these sleep cages so what what is what is this eight content so here the minimum number of sleep cages chosen for the combination of blocks depending upon the type of set available so which type of set is available at our end is is the very important parameter while choosing your height or block for the particular measurement process okay so standard set contain this range of multiple sleep cages like a range of 1.001 to 1.009 each step having 001 and there are nine pieces so in this range is 0.001 and having nine pieces so 1.01 to 1.009 0.01 having nine pieces so according to range there are different different numbers of number of pieces are available in this set okay so this set is m45 and this m87 so according to range in the range so multiple pieces are available in m45 total 45 pieces are available and in 87 this 87 pieces are available now here an example is given how we are used or how you can arrange the dimension of 56.4 to 1 mm with the help of sleep cages means you have to a measure this value 56.4 to 1 mm just a minute so you have to measure the value of 56.421 and with the help of sleep cages so how you can arrange these sleep cages these sleep cages are simply twisted to each other and attached to each other how that we will see in your practical so we have to arrange this right so here some steps are mentioned how we can arrange how we can make a combination of this value with the help of these sleep cages so first consider the last digit consider the last decimal first so this last decimal is considered first so if this value is 0.001001 okay since the cage of 0.001 is not available select 1.001 mm sleep cage so it is one calculate छप्पन्न पॉइंट चार से एकवीस एम एम तो जर आप स्लीप के जैसे हाइट में मेजर कराएगी अपन का जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन एम एम चाहे एक स्लीप के चूज के अवेलेबल ना होता मुझे अपन वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन एम एम से एक स्लीप के टोटल वैल्यूज में ती माइनस के लिए कि पंचावन पॉइंट बेच एम आता पंचावन पॉइंट बेच एस एम एम कस मेजर कराए कारण कि आपका एक पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन आला पाए ना कन्सिडर द सेकंड डेसिमल ऑफ पॉइंट नंतर सेकंड डेसिमल क्या तो क्या है जीरो पॉइंट Zero two, so this is zero point zero two. So upon available नहीं है, तो अपन क्या करेंगे one point zero two mm six slip cage get लिया, ठीक है? और कितनी बार तो पंचावन point बीच में अपना one point zero one गया, तो अपन ना point चाइस है, ठीक है? अतः जो अपन ना point चाइस है, तो ठीक है अपन क्या करेंगे? नंतर third digit कैसे? कितनी थी one point four mm? So we have select the slip cage of one point four mm, then three mm. 
సెవెన్ పాయింట్ టూ పాయింట్ పాయింట్ చేసుకున్నా ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ చేయాలి కదా అక్కడ గుడ్స్